Despite inflation trending lower and the Federal Reserve nearing the end of their hiking cycle, global yields have risen over the past couple months. We think there are four main reasons for the recent rise. First, resilient data in the United States. GDP has been running above potential for the past couple quarters and appears to be running above potential for the third quarter as well. Second, Fitch downgraded the United States from AAA status, the second rating agency to do so in the last 12 years. Third, the U.S. Treasury needs to issue an additional $350 billion worth of treasuries this year, an additional $750 billion worth of securities for the next few years. It should increase coupons for several quarters. And finally, the BOJ recently adjusted their yield curve target from 50 to 100 basis points, moderately impacting the higher yields globally. Given the recent rise in yields, we're finding fixed income more attractive both on a nominal and real basis. Nominal yields in the United States haven't been here since the global financial crisis, and real yields are north of 2% across the curve. On top of that, while real yields have become cheaper, equities and other risky assets have become more expensive. As a result, we're adding duration across complexes. Some complexes overweight depending on starting conditions and other risks, and we'll continue to add into higher yields.